This is the Nightmare Before Christmas, the Pumpkin King. It's not Sudoku and it's not Yu-Gi-Oh. This is the first time I've been playing something besides those two games in two months. <laughs> yeah, let's get started. I'm actually kind of excited for this one because it's supposed to be a Metroidvania. I haven't played a lot of them, but I like them a lot. So, it was Halloween Eve, quite a long time ago. Many a year before Jack's adventure with Christmas. Sandy Claws and Snow. So I have not seen this movie, please don't crucify me. <laughs> Halloween is just, a, just hours away. I'm so excited. I'm like a kid in a cadaver store. I can hardly wait to show the good ghouls of Halloween Town my latest trick. Tonight they will all see why I am called the Pumpkin King. Tonight will be perfect. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King, never heard of him. Lock, shock, and barrel. He runs Halloween Town. Jack's the scariest guy around. Really? Even scarier than me, Oogie Boogie, king of all bugs? Uh, well, yes. I mean, no. I mean, silence! Go into Halloween Town and bring me this pumpkin king. It's time we met. Yeah, so I don't know any of these characters because I've not seen the movie. <laughs> this is fun so far. Master Uki, we bagged him. It was easy. He's not tough at all. Excellent. Come out and show your face, Pumpkin King. Uh. <laughs> Oops. Where am I? Who are you? What? I told you to kidnap Jack Skellington. Who is this ragdoll? Uh, good question, boss. She looked like Jack in the dark. Wait, this is Dr. Finkelstein's new assistant, Sally. No, her name is, a uh, Polly. No, you dope, it's Sissy. No, you're the Sissy. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're, a. Uh... <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Jack or no Jack, I'll show him and his town what a real king can do. Oh, boy. Jump right in here. Oh. What has happened here? The mayor, the doctor, the werewolf, and the witches. Where did they go? Something must be terribly wrong. This place has turned into a, a ghost town, and not the good kind. I've got to find everyone, or this Halloween is going to be a disaster. Oh, hi. I have an attack. Yeah, see, it's like a Metroidvania map. I think Ditto and Gilga have both played this. A little slippery. I mean, like, does a little skid. Controls pretty well, though. Climb the ladder. And push. Jack! Uh-oh. Jack, it's you. Boy, am I glad to see a friendly skull. What's happened here? Where is everyone? Bugs, Jack. Our dear town is infested with nasty, awful bugs. Everyone is hiding, and on Halloween of all days, this is a disaster, Jack. Calm down now. Let's just hope everyone is all right. I need to get to the bottom of this, and fast. I knew we could count on you. Here, you'll need this more than me. No roll. Frog gun. Free button to kill bugs with its frog breath. Nice. Now we have a weapon. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Just please don't aim it towards me. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Don't you worry. I won't let anything stop Halloween. We're counting on you, Jack. Good luck. That's just a B press. I can spam it a little bit. Oh, jeez. 
Jeez. Oh god. Okay, fish bones are my healing item, it looks like. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Up we go. It looks like there's like a meter or something, like, for this, uh... Frog breath gun. Oh, hi. Oh, he didn't drop health. Uh, I'm gonna go up. Can't get up there. Oh, hello. Hello, Zero. Welcome. Playing our Halloween game today. Since I have work tomorrow. It took so hard to not see Sudoku. Yeah, I've been playing it all month. Jack, how do you like the frog gun? Do you know about the pickups and the shrunken heads? As your mayor, I can explain them. Uh, yeah. First, I'll tell you about the shrunken heads. Pick up shrunken heads, and your max health will go up. Oh, that's nice. The lower right bar shows how much health you have. If it reaches zero, then I'm afraid you're done for. You want lots of health, so seek out the shrunken heads. There are ten in all. Actually, there's one right around here. As for the pickups, the residents' most prized possessions are hidden all around town. I guess they are hoping this way the bugs won't find their valuables. And Twenty hidden pickups in all. See how many you can collect as you rid our town of those bugs. Also, the fish bones will allow you to recover your health. The bigger the bone is, the more health you recover, so be sure to pick them up. Yeah, two months ago I committed to beating uh, three long games. I ended up axing one of them, which was Chess Master, and saying, like, I'm just gonna put this on backlog, beat it later. But Sudoku and Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy have been going on for two months, so I have not really been beating games much in the last two months. What's this? Oh, there's one. Yee, yeah, increase my health. Now, I wonder if that just gives me one extra hit, or if it actually gives me, like, an extra health bar. So Metrovania could give me an extra health bar. Yeah, this one I can probably jump on. That one I can't. That was a double kill, let's freaking go. I have to actually climb the ladder, it looks like. What is this? Uh, checkpoint? Must be a checkpoint. Thank you, go-go. Oh, that's a save point right here. Now, so far this is good. Jack, look at that one! Oh boy. He has this arrow sign. That's one huge bug. It's almost like Behemoth. Are you scared? I know I am. There's an even bigger one back there. What? This bug's just a lackey, so watch out for his boss. Be careful, Jack. 8.5 hours each so far. Yeah, like on average, yeah. Hmm, I got a bad feeling about this, but I can't turn back now. The town is counting on me. It's been a long time since I've actually, like, narrated a game, too. Oh boy, boss time. Oh, hello. That's a spider. I don't like spiders. Boss fight. Oh boy. Just gonna 
watch where the smoke is coming down. I know he's behind me. Oh, frick. Ah. No, frick. Why? Get off of me. Oh yeah, so that, that Shrunken Heads do just give me an extra health bar, essentially. Hi, Keegan. Don't listen to Keegan's lies, everybody. Keegan is a false prophet in this channel. here. I'm glad Keegan has not abandoned us after I finish Sudoku. That looks like it's gonna try and hurt me. Let's see, where are we now? It's not a very big map. Jack's house. Oh, I see. There's new areas. Okay. Who do you think developed this? Is I actually have no idea. Why is my house so big? Lock, Shock, and Barrel are racing all over Halloween Town. I'll just bet you they're up to no good. Where's your pal Zero? <clears throat> oh, Disney Interact. Disconnected. It's up here. Nothing? What was the point of that? It's weird, and the mic does that, like, some, like, sometimes I accidentally hit the mic and then it disconnects, and that makes sense, but sometimes it just does it randomly. 
I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand that. Oh. Dang. Well, I was talking about how the electric chairs heal you. Oh, frick. And how that's an interesting message to be sending children who are playing this game. Yes, just get condemned to the electric chair and your entire soul will be healed. <laughs> Ledge grab animations are not my favorite. <laughs> I feel like there could be a lot of smoothing out done with that sort of thing. Zero! Bark. Zero, you're alright. I was worried about you. Oh boy. What's this? Oh, hi. Yes, we trapped Jack. Now we'll get some Newt Nugget as our reward. Those pesky brats. We'll have to find another way out, Zero. Dude, Zero is literally a ghost. He says something about his nose being active when something suspicious is happening. So we'll electrocute ourselves real quick. <laughs> Sus of that fireplace was covered up. I want to guide Zero through the chimney. Yes. Probably our only choice here. Oh, what is this? Oh, we got a 3D section. Oh boy. No! Don't lead the dog into the spider webs. Oh, hi. It's one of those things. Oh my gosh. Oh, can I jump? How much space do I actually have here? I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I can go up and down. Okay. I don't know how I did that, though. I'm going to be honest. Oh, that's how it's up here. Okay. I just lost a ton of health, though. Okay, so where are we going now? Oh, here? No. Well, we have zero now, so we can probably go back. There we go. We have our ghost doggo. Who is the better ghost doggo, though? The one from Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon or Zero? The, the pup, pupper geist, whatever, whatever its name was. Oh my god, that was close. Polter pup, that's what it's called. Zero is better. Have you played Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon? <laughs> It's actually a good game. It's like the only Luigi's Mansion game I've actually played. 
Oh, you have? Oh. Okay. Oh, I can heal here. Two shrunken heads now. So maybe we go up? Are we going up here? I don't know. Yeah, I guess Polterpup doesn't help you with anything, besides being cute. Dude, throwback to when they had GameCube games in restaurants and dentist office and all that. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Jack! Oh dear, did you hear all the noise from the doctor's lab? I'll check it out. I hope the doctor and Igor are alright. Don't forget about Sally. Sally, who's that? She's a living ragdoll that the doctor invented. The doctor's lab was locked. <laughs> Who, the mayor? But... I unlocked it a few minutes ago, so you will be able to get inside. He's, he's spinning. He's a spinny boy. Okay, so... Wait, hold on. Where am I going here? I guess I can only go this way. No fall damage in this game, which is a big plus for me. I guess it'd be kind of interesting if a skeleton took fall damage. <laughs> it's Town Square. Yeah, I guess the, doc the doctor's lab would probably not be in Jack's house. Oh yeah, it's just right here. There's another new map. I'm progressing through these maps pretty quickly. No boss for the last one, though. More healing? And zero actually becomes useful. Can't get up there. I'll let things go through walls too. Okay, you can't just shoot up if you're, if you're jumping. is being the sus meter is active but I can't get up there yet so I must need another item or something did I mention I haven't seen this movie <laughs> saying things that trigger people sometimes I just haven't seen it I've been meaning to I could watch it actually because I have Disney Plus but I like don't watch movies at all I probably shouldn't have Disney Plus to be honest because I never use it Hmm. 
Lab notes, materials, centipede tail, rat scale, bat beard, lizard claw. My bat boomerang is finally complete. This Halloween's ghastly gadget award will be all mine yet again. Dr. F. Seems to be one of the Doc's new inventions. Might come in handy. Let's take it, Zero. Can we get a batarang now? Bat boomerang. <laughs> we'll literally get a batarang. No, I have not seen Corpse Bride. L R button selected, B button throw it. Where is the doctor anyway? We need to find him. Aha, so now I have this weapon. I don't know if I've seen any Tim Burton movies. If you keep naming them, I might know. Okay, it's a, see, it's a bat boomerang, but it's also not coming back to me, so... That goes to my house? What? Huh. These areas must be connected somehow. This is like a long range weapon, I see. a little weaker. Ah. Suspicious here. Apparently. Aha. Uh -huh. A lollipop. That must be one of the, the collectibles. Get up here? Hello? Oh, I have to like get a running start. I'm sure there's a lot of electricity flying around here. To, like, hit those switches. Finkelstein, what a wonderful new pet you have. 
This is no pet. Jack, my boy, I've been captured. Help! Oh, hi. How much do you want to bet I have to do this thing? I hit him in the mouth, I see. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. coming from and then kind of just Hey, Ripley. Why are you awake? <laughs> A huge snake suddenly appeared while I was doing my research. Oh, that's right. Sally, you, Jack, you must save her. Those three little hooligans grabbed her and took off. What? Lock, shock, and barrel? Why would they do that? I guess so, Misty. <laughs> After every boss, it would seem. I have no idea, but I want my Sally back safe and sound. Just leave it to me, Doctor. I'll bring this Sally back. Take that bat boomerang with you. Please find her, Jack. It's like the Kirby dance. You know the Kirby dance from all the Kirby games? Before you go, Corpse Kid was here when the sink came. He ran off during the attack. I'd wager he ran all the way back to the pumpkin patch by now. Oh, if you're worried about him, why not check out the pumpkin patch? Now that I've got more research to attend to. Okay, we gotta go to the pumpkin patch now. This is a good Halloween game. A lot of Halloween themes here. See, there's a lot we can explore later as well. I think there might be something up here that we can get to later. Alright, so we gotta go back this way. Frog breath thing is a lot more powerful than the battering. Can't crawl yet, apparently. Oh, hi. Shoot. 
Can I use the battering on this? No. I can't use that. Yes. A chair here. Somewhere. <clears throat> oh, down there. this pumpkin patch we're referring to here. It ended up being a long game, although it seems to be paced pretty quickly. Yeah, what are these big empty areas? I can go. Oh, I can reach this, okay. Dude, that guy did a lot of damage. What is this? What's this, Zero? A pumpkin prince? Ah! Oh, here he is again. The corpse kid is stuck in a possessed pumpkin. How am I going to root on a possessed pumpkin of this size? Root, that's it. If we weaken the roots, the pumpkin will come off. Brilliant, that's a marvelous idea, Jack. Possessed pumpkins have three giant roots. You'll have to destroy them all. I'll leave it up to you, Jack. Hmm. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to reach up here, but... I'm just gonna be looking for these roots. Those look like spikes, and I don't like that. Yep. No, that's that game is really next. It was gonna be actually in this slot, but then I wanted to do a Halloween game, so. I moved it back one. I bet I can 
just do this. Yeah, I want those Yu-Gi-Oh games done. The, the next one's supposed to be shorter. As a matter of fact, I think most of them are going to be shorter now. I don't know about the World Championship Tournament games. But Eternal Duelistle and Worldwide Edition, which are the next two, are supposed to be, like, under 30 hours. Like, Gilgatex played uh, Eternal Duelistle, beat it in under 30 hours, and that was his first Yu-Gi-Oh game. It was 93 hours, but yeah. Is this thing almost dead? Yeah, I don't think very many games are going to reach 94 hours of gameplay. Even Yu-Gi-Oh. Is this thing going to die or what? Okay, now it's getting really jank. There we go, finally. Those look like they're dead. And I won't be able to grab them or something. Apparently I can still grab them though. Oh, wow. Okay. Please stop. Right. I need to leave spikes down there. Yep. Hopefully it's not too many. Brown ones should like crumble or something. I don't think they are though. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, this looks horrible. What is this? Like, actually, though. This is not fair. Okay, uh, abort mission. There must be an item or something I'm missing. No, why? How am I not dead? Okay, so we know there's one down there at least, but there's no way I can kill it unless I get like more health or something. Or like invulnerability to spikes at least. Well, I don't know if I've managed to skip something yet. There was another path going down. That might have something for me. Just gonna check that first because I don't wanna deal with spikes and trying to kill something with spikes. It, this reminded me a bit of Prince of Persia <laughs> because that also had similar issues. With fighting uh, walls over spikes, for lack of a better description. Oh, here's a save down here. We could save our progress on the one vine that we killed. And healing. 
Surely this means there's something important down here. There's a vine here. Yeah, this was definitely supposed to be the first one. <laughs> the second one was a lot harder to beat, too. Frick you. Frick you! Stop! Oh! I guess I could have just climbed up there. Wait, now I'm back here. Wait, was I here before? been here oh oh now I'm on this side of it okay that makes more sense <laughs> Yeah, I definitely did these in the wrong order. <laughs> hey, the game let me do it, so... What if it was optimal? What if I'm just speedrunning? It's unironically, it looks like it would be an amazing game to speedrun, though. Metroidvanians are always interesting for speedruns. Looks like I'm gonna need like fire to get through it. I have a feeling those blocks mean something. Is that a different symbol from the other blocks? Yeah, that was supposed to be the last one. The one I, there was one right here that was supposed to be the last one. So I was supposed to go down first. And then finish here. Jack, you did it! It looks like Corpse Kid is going to be okay. Well, look at this. Take it, Jack. It might come in handy. It sure looks like one gold level. Pumpkin Bomb. Press the B button to throw. Break any barrier marked with a pumpkin. Oh, and there goes the Corpse Kid. Ah! Let's go after him. Wait for me! Oh, I only have ten. I supposed to fall there. Gotta use them wisely. Oh boy. No, why? We have to go this way anyway. Oh, yep, there we go. Now I can break these. Oh, hello. Hey, there we go. Shrunken head. 
And we got three health bars. Yeah, it definitely plays like one so far. And like the map even looks like a Metroidvania map, so. Can I destroy boxes? I don't think I can. At least not yet. I'm not supposed to do that. Oops. I see they explode after a certain amount of time. this thing. Why is it getting bigger? I'm confused. sure what my limit is on holding these pumpkin bombs. I think it's just coincidence. I could have picked a probably a worse game for Halloween. There's a few different kinds of games that would actually work for this. Like Monster Force, uh, Van Helsing. There's a lot of spooky games out there we could play. Oh, 
Oh, they respawn, I see. Oh. I got him. Go after him. Save. Are you okay? You didn't put out or back an eye by mistake, did you? I'm okay. Thanks for saving me, Jack. Present? Here's the little game I was playing. It's my way of saying thanks. You got mini game one from Corpse Kid. Nice. Those little monsters are going to pay. I won't let them off the hook with their simple grave digging cho gra grave digging chores. Jack, Jack, over here! Uh oh. Fell for the pitfall trap. What is this? Oh. Zero to guide the way? Sure. This again. Okay, yeah, up and down. That's how I avoid these uh, ones in the middle. Oh, frick! Shoot. I missed the, the thing. Can I go back for it? Maybe only if I die. Oh, frick. I kind of want that, so I'll probably go back for it. Now I'm going the other way. <laughs> well, this is even harder. Rick. Ah. Where was it? <laughs> Shoot. I just wanted the shrunken head, you know. More health we have, the better. This is kind of cool, though. You have to go backwards. I actually took less damage there. I took less damage going backwards than I did forwards. <laughs> you would think that would be much harder. <laughs> rough, 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 rough. I like to think this is my late pupper guiding the way now. Even though she would, looks nothing like this dog. <laughs> you think so? I feel like it's the same the same level. 
Oh, the forward way does seem a little shorter, though. Where is this? Where are you? What? Now I'm in the graveyard, apparently. Oh, that could be so as well. This is the part where I'm going to start getting lost, isn't it? Yeah, so it would seem. Who would have thought? Disney movie making a Metroidvania. Yeah, this block must mean something. This ghost block. I must get um, a power-up later that'll let me interact with that. Uh, Metroid Zero Mission had a similar thing going on. Where, like, the different blocks had, like, the item you needed to break them. What are the bells for? That was making the ghost solid, maybe? Yeah, that's what I was making the ghost solid. Jump. Take back what I said about the ledge grabbing earlier, it's actually pretty smooth. I see they're asleep right now, but then I wake them up and then I can step on them. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. She's like, I'm gonna ring a bell so I can step on you. Actually, look at this. Is there some rooms that are like gray, but there's also the ones that are just dark? So I'm wondering if the rooms that are dark are like bonus rooms or something. So I'm just saving it though. They're just save rooms. Okay, okay, the pumpkin heads are just, uh. Why am I gonna even break these actually? Oh, these are just the boxes for this area, I see. I can reuse a save. Yeah, looks like it. I just saved here, so. I think the, the pumpkin heads are just meant to show you where the save rooms are. It's spaced pretty nicely so far. 
Not like Monster House, where they were literally everywhere. Or not literally everywhere, but literally nowhere. <laughs> they were super spread out. running start. I wonder if at some point the bell or the ghosts go back to... S oh my god, really? Great platforming. Platforming master here. Can I don't reach this? There we go. I had to get the running start again. Yeah, Monster House had a lot of really hard enemies. And less save points. Monster House also wasn't really a Metroidvania as much as it was a puzzle Zelda game-ish thing. Zelda games can be hard, so... I have a hard time with Zelda games, personally. I found Link to the Past to be pretty hard. Of course, I could also just be bad at video games, you know? Even though I am the king of games. According to GX Duel Academy. Oh, freaking yuck. Freaking yuck. A Sudoku doctorate, yeah. I have a doctorate in Sudoku. I updated my titles in my Discord bio, by the way, to include Doctor of Sudoku. The big fish actually feels a full health bar. It's that ghost thing again. Yeah, this, this is definitely a something. I wonder when I'm getting that ability. Probably soon. What's this? Oh? Something like that can really crush one's spirits. Are you alright? Oh, this guy. Look at that. You can now use the stretchy ghost on the walls of the ghost markers. Attack the markers and jump to the flying ghosts to reach high places. Okay. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Interesting, okay, so that's what that's for. And now I can use those blocks, essentially. I need to go back there. What does that let me do now? I think there was one of the... Oh. That's a different block. Looks like fire. Maybe I'll get a fire... Maybe I'll get a flamethrower at some point. Room. Give me that. Do I get to save first? No? <laughs> bug. Oh, big bug. Good thing I have four health bars.
Oh, frick. did a ton of damage. No, stop. Let go of me. How are you not dead yet? Oh, there we go. Apparently, uh, the story said this takes place before the movie, long before the movie, apparently. Alright. Was that the third boss? Town Square. Apparently. So what's this way? Oh, I can't crawl yet, so I don't know. <laughs> Graveyard. I'm gonna go. Can I go back? No, I can't go back. Because I can't crawl. What's this way? That looks like lava. I kind of have to go that way, it looks like. I had to check to see if I could throw through the gate. Everybody's dropping pumpkin bombs now instead of health. Using some spiral logic here. Oh, can I blow these up? Oh, I can. Let's go. I was like, why are these scary looking horse statues here? <laughs> Help me, if I lose any more blood, I'll be no I'll be a nowhere wolf. <sighs> Werewolf, what's happened to you? D Jack, it's terrible. The acid bath leeches have suddenly gone mad. What the? Stop that, you leeches. Why are you hurting the werewolf? This isn't like you. You normally suck blood in such a friendly fashion. It's no use. Lock, shock, and barrel put bad blood machines in the acid bath. The gas coming from the machines has turned the leeches completely crazy. Just what are those brats up to? Hold on, I'll destroy those machines and save you and the leeches. Thank you, Jack. I think there are three machines in all. Please do something about them before I'm dry as a snail in a salt factory. Hmm. Three machines and all. Okay, let's actually follow the path this time. Seven? Holy frick. Can I get health, please? I don't know what these machines even look like. Oh, 
high. That looks like one. like a secret or something. Oh, frick. On into the, the carrot juice here. Top hat. Dude, come on. Get it together, Jack. No! Stop! I'm falling into the carrot juice. These guys would actually drop health again. That'd be great. It's like 30 might be the max. Nope, not the max. Okay. Thank you. Or uh statues for health now, looks like. Oh, I need a ghost. No ghost. Wait, I've been here. This is the other way. There's a ghost there. Uh -huh. Oh, maybe I was supposed to go this way then. Climb across. I mean, where's this going though? Oh yeah, this probably is the way I'm supposed to go. The ghost thing might not necessarily be right underneath where you're climbing on the ceiling. Interesting. Oh. Oh, that's how I get to this one. Get back, I guess. Oh my god, I'm close to dead. Hit that. right now and try not to die. <laughs> I hope there's an electric chair soon. Or this. This could work too. No, that's not health! Why? <laughs> We're getting trolled. I see the machine, I think.
there's more health up ahead. <laughs> It's not health! I need health! <laughs> no, frick. Wait, maybe it'll drop health now. Nope. Everything's just dropping pumpkin bombs. I don't know why. Thank you. <laughs> I can't believe I haven't died. Oh, frick. Why is this not possible to do without taking damage? No. Thank you. No, frick. No, grab the thing. So low on health. going here. Even a save would be really nice at this point. It's complimenting the game for actually having saves consistently, but now it's like not giving me any saves at all. Oh my god, that hits me. Probably in here. This is a dark room. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that was scary. Scary segment. Still one more machine to kill, too, and I have, like, no health still. No, jump! Why didn't jump there? Sus thing. Oh, I can grind out health here. Let's go. I think the the drops here are consistent, actually. Let's go. Get our health back. Yeah, the health, the health drop is always here, it looks like. That's cool. This game has, like, consistent drops. Uh, I think I want to go up first before I come down here. That hacks. It's exploiting what the developers did. They made the drops consistent, so I'm gonna go for the consistent drops. Oh my god. I 
just playing the game, you know? Oh my god. Nothing over here. Please jump on the things. Or get up here, I guess. Pretty nice music. Dang it. I should have to climb the ladder until the loading's on, or just fall. machine. We probably do want to go down. So let's go back and explore a little bit. Oh my god. A rebound. Really got me there. I don't think a back door I'm supposed to be. I've destroyed the machines now. Where did it even come from? Zero is freaking out right now. What the heck is in this room that's suspicious? Where are we going? That's a save room, we should save.
I have to go back through this again. That's kind of lame. Oh my god. Pumpkin bombs on the way. Speaking of that, I am running out of pumpkin bombs. <laughs> there was probably a better way to get back here. for this. Take so much health to do anything here. I have no idea. <laughs> there must have been like a shortcut or something that I missed. Am I? Jack, thank you. The leeches are back to their normal sucky selves. Huh? What is it, leeches? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Jack, the leeches said they want to help you. Oh. What is this? They have created acid baths all over town. If you step into one, you will temporarily melt so that you can pass through narrow places. Aha! Okay. If you want to turn back to normal, just press the control pad up. Thanks, leeches. I can't wait to try one of your blood-sucking baths. 
Uh, or an eyeball. This eyeball belongs to the Melting Man. What's it doing here? Something may have happened to him. Do you know where he is? The graveyard, as always. And I'm off to the graveyard. Oh, so this is how I get back, I see. I see. So we gotta go back to the graveyard, though. There's probably a way. There was a narrow passage in the graveyard that I couldn't do anything with yet. Probably this way, actually. Yep, there we go. physics. Oh, hello. How'd you get here? Jack, fancy meeting you here. What do you say to having some lunch? I'd love to, Mayor, but I need to find the Melting Man. Have you seen him around here at all? The only one's here when I arrived were the ghosts. I don't suppose they have seen him. I doubt they can help you, but you can help me. And I just between pose transitions. And yeah, they did a really good job with like the animations and how this game even looks. It looks really, really good. And it plays really well too. So far this is probably like almost like a 9 out of 10 game. The pace is a bit fast though. I wish the pace were a little slower, so I feel like I'm getting like a little bit of whiplash. But it is a movie game, so... What's wrong? I don't have all the ingredients for my lunch. This is serious business. Mr. Mayor, I really should be looking for the Melting Man. Never mind that, I'll give you some of my gallstone gumbo if you can help. Alright, I suppose I can look for your items and the Melting Man. Oh, thank you, I knew you would understand. Well, I'll leave you to your prowling. Okay. Oh, hello. Healing. Rough, rough. And a save. I can't believe I haven't died yet. <laughs> Famous last words. Hello? I bet the gallstone gumbos won't let me climb these walls.
I also kind of like that there's no run button in this game. I feel like a lot of games like this would have a run button, but this one just has one running speed. You don't have to worry about pressing a button for that. Mini boss? <laughs> yeah. Bog's brain. Hmm, I think the mayor would want to do want more than just this. I'll look for some more. Probably two more things? I'm just saying I, I like it. Sometimes a run button makes things more complicated than they need to be. And if you don't put the run button on the same button that Pokemon puts it on, then everyone just gets confused. Because everyone thinks the run button's B. So when it's not B, people just get confused because everyone's just used to the way Pokemon does it. <laughs> At least in my experience. So I just like that I can hold right and jump, and then I can get enough distance to get a high jump. I don't need to like press a button to do that. Oh, whoops. What did I just fall into? I don't think I wanted to fall here. Item switching in this game is also really good. It's very simple, very fast. Some games it's not like that at all. And not everything is an item. Some things are just features that you interact with. And that can get really complicated too in a lot of games. If it's just these three items, I'd be totally okay with it. Even if there's more, like, it's fast enough that I can get to an item that I need pretty quickly, so... Okay, what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to break this pumpkin wall, I think. And I just felt. Shouldn't get too much of that. That pumpkin wall. Is that gonna be something important? I don't know, actually. Oop, I almost just pressed the power button. <laughs> I don't think that would have sent me back too far, but. What are you doing up here? What? I, I... This way. <sighs> Nothing it looks like. Ok, 
fight him. And that was literally just a, an extra thing. <laughs> Worth. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to get further. Gonna deal with this jerk again. Interesting. Why are you here? No ice physics in this form. Huh. Oh, now we got ice physics for this guy. That was easy. Of any lunch, that's probably enough. On second, wait, hold on a second, that maybe I should find more. Precisely one more, to be exact, most likely. for here. Top left, looks like. Looks like the map says there's an exit right underneath the one at the top. Oh, maybe here. I see. This looks like uh, grabable underneath me. Okay, right 
there. So there might be a ghost somewhere. Ghost block. Seems likely. Yeah, probably like past this ghost here. Oh my gosh, please. Pro gamer move. Oh, I have to jump over to him. Such a cool mechanic there. I failed to see how the leeches made these acid pools. Where are we going here? This way. Not this way. Ice physics. Small. Looks like quite a tasty lunch and treat. That should be enough. Let's get back to the mayor. Zero. I feel like these mini boss fights were supposed to be harder. <laughs> I'm out of pumpkin bombs now, which is kind of bad, I guess. No longer out of pumpkin bombs. I just appear when I get hit because my my computer sucks and I don't actually disappear I am running my stream at 60 FPS so you should be able to see all the frames but because my computer sucks it doesn't always run at 60 FPS <laughs> I don't know how to actually like make it stop doing that to be honest Is the reason that happens is because the frame is just not being registered on the stream for whatever reason, even though I'm running the stream at 60 FPS. It's using up 35% of my CPU. There's a lot of flashing effects, that's all. And those depend on the frames. I can see all the frames, but you might not be able to. Oh, Jack, you've collected my lunch ingredients. Please put them in the cauldron. 
I realized during Monster House that I was running every game at 30 FPS. And it was actually... Actually, no, I realized that in Bomberman. Bomberman was, is, like, even worse. If you look at Bomberman, Red Ma Bomberman Max 2 Red Advance, you can see a lot of frames are missing because of 30 FPS. With 60, it looks a little better, but, again, like, my computer sucks, so it can't really... Or OBS sucks, and I just need to pick out some settings. But I, I can't really show all the frames for some reason. Eyeball. Ah! That's the Melting Man's eyeball! What did you put that in there for? I didn't. It jumped in all by itself. Oh! What? What was the Melting Man doing inside my cauldron? What? Oogie Boogie tore your body into pieces. You were able to pull yourself together because all your parts are back? What a close call. I nearly ate minced Melting Man with mushroom sauce. How terrible. Just who is this Oogie Boogie person? Oh, that's right. You still don't know about him. He's the recluse who lives on a lair under the treehouse. He calls himself the King of All Bugs. Oogie Boogie, King of All Bugs? This is madness. On the, on the note of frames, can you see all the frames on Zero? Zero has a lot of flashing effects. Or are you only seeing part of the frames? Jack, wonderful news! The Melting Man has a message for you. He says he wants to help you as thanks for saving him. Yay. I get Melting Man stuff. You can now use his gum shoe. They will let you climb up to high places. Nice. Now he flickers many, many, many times a second for me. I believe there was just such a place near here. Why not go look for it? Say, do you know where any other townspeople are? Come to think of it, the witches mentioned going to the pumpkin patch. The witches, huh? I'm a bit worried. I'll head for the patch. Thanks, Mayor. Great. I'll look for others as well. Bye for now. Awesome. So now I can walk up things. That's cool. Save the game. I assume that it's just, that's just automatic. But this guy's being annoying. I just hold up, okay. Let's see where we're going here. Does it even matter? Am I just backtracking here? Yeah, I'm just backtracking, okay. We shall head to the pumpkin patch. might be a way for me to actually be able to show more frames on stream. Like, my, my, my stream says 60 FPS. Maybe like this way. Like, it's on OBS. It says 35.9% CPU because of that. So you should be seeing all the frames, but... I don't know. My computer kind of sucks. Alright, uh, where are we going here? How much RAM do I have? I actually have no idea. <laughs> I don't know how to check it either. I don't know where I want to go here. It's not a lot, because I haven't up I haven't gotten more RAM since I got this computer in 2016, so...
Something else. There must be another weapon I get later. So holding out with that flamethrower. Okay, so that's not where I need to go. Not a lot of other options, to be honest. The number 8 gigabytes is popping into my mind for RAM when I bought this PC. And again, I haven't gotten more RAM since I got this PC, as far as I know anyway. Probably pretty low, yeah. This is a Game Boy Advance game, though. That's the thing. You think it wouldn't need that much RAM to show flickering effects on Game Boy Advance games? There's something below this room, potentially. I don't know if that's where I want to go, though. Considering that the only way you get down there is by falling from these pumpkins. go here. Skull room. Snowball. Right, mm, there's this stupid thing. Ah, come on! I'm out. This is stupid.
like, how do I, how did I do this before? It's like that. Even the right way to go. The heck, didn't I just kill that guy? That just goes down. All right, maybe this is where I want to go, though. Still probably can patch, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then I had to leave and go through the graveyard, but now, yeah, now I can go here. Okay. Enter this part of the pumpkin patch. It doesn't look like I can actually go anywhere else. Oh wait, it looks like there might be an entrance down in the save room. Of this firewall. Secret here somewhere. I 
a save. Oh, hi. Oh, Jack, I didn't expect to see you here. I would have worn my beauty warrant had I known. Hello, witch. It's good to see that you're alright. What do you mean? Did something happen in Halloween Town? The town is in shambles. An army of bugs is ruining Halloween. Bugs, eh? We might be able to help you, Jack. My sister is out looking for an ingredient for your Pumpkin King elixir. I'm sure it'll help you teach those bugs a thing or two. I have everything I need, except for one final ingredient. My sister probably has it by now. When you find her, bring the final ingredient back to me. Oh, watch out for the noise gnats that lurk around here. If they hear you, they'll catch you and fly you back to the start of the path. Things look bad, duck beneath stone mushrooms. Good luck, Jack. Oh boy, now we got stealth. Okay. All these things. I see. Oh, I see. This is one of those things. It's not stealth, it's, uh, hide when they're looking, basically. I actually have to duck. Yes, he is. Wish I were that flexible. I actually tried lifting my weights last night, and I think I hurt my back. <laughs> so I'm not there yet. I started feeling like a little sharp pain in my back. I was like, nope, nope, stopping now. <laughs> Don't want to hurt myself. <laughs> I'll try again tonight, probably. I just have like two 10 pound dumbbells. And somehow they managed to twinge my back a little bit and I was like, mm, nope, I don't want to push it and accidentally hurt myself. I, I'm fine. This is really creepy. <laughs> the freaking eyes opening and closing in the background. If you think about it, these gnats are basically the equivalent of the Gerudos in Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Oh, this is gonna be rough. 
So I think that that thing is moving faster than me. Go. Oh my god, please. This is terrifying. I'm so slow in this form. No, what? How did that? Oh my god, and it's making me redo all of this. I guess having the shadows touch doesn't mean anything. Don't trust it. Go, 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 go. No, come back, please. No, come back! Oh my gosh. No, don't go to that one yet. Please come back, please come back, please come back. Oh my god, please. <laughs> this is so scary. Stick with me, buddy. Okay. Okay. We made it. Can we just have not can we just not have any more of these things? So, I can't hit these guys like this. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't get screwed over more, to be honest. I, I hate how you can't kill these guys, too. No! Okay, well, at least I start here. Like a one screen break from the freaking mats. Okay. 
this way, probably. Hello. Jack, what are you doing here? Never mind, I'm glad you're here. I need your help. Deliver this to my sister for me. Yeah, that mushroom is the final ingredient. I finally found it, but be careful. I'm afraid they explode not long after you pick them. What? Please, whatever you do, hurry. I'm getting out of here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, where am I going? Frick. <laughs> okay, I think... Oh, I have to go all the way back this way. Oh no. And I have to worry about the freaking gnats as well. Move this way. Is there anything this way? Shortcut, maybe? Might have had to do that, actually. Yeah, I had to do that. At least everything's cleared. Oh, except for that, apparently. Ah. I think I'll be fine, actually. No, why? I was moving to the left. No! Oh, freaking... I'm trying to anticipate it and it's not working. Oh my god, I hate that you can't shoot up when you jump. No, go, go, go! So stressful. Oh my gosh! Now the frustrating part starts dealing with these guys on a time limit. And everything respawns when you get caught. I feel like it's random how long they spend not looking at you, too. Stop. Get me out of here. I need this. Oh god, I have to do this now. The timer seems pretty lenient, at least. For the most part. Oh no, I'm gonna have to blow up the walls again, aren't I? Go back, go back. No! Oh my god, I need... Oh no, I don't, actually. Oh, I should've just gotten out of it. What am I doing? I was even trying to do that with the slime. I don't need the slime now. I just needed the slime to get back. Probably the most stressful one is it's so long. Okay. Oh, frick. 
I'm not going down, am I? Up, 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 up. Oh, I am going down, frick. Oh no, there's a boss too. Oh, the timer's gone though. Or is it? No, it's not gone, Frick. <laughs> I think I see what I have to do, actually. Frick. Where's the... I need him to come over here, I think. Yeah, there we go. That's what I have to do. Oh, God, I don't know. How am I supposed to do this the freaking time limit? It's not that bad, actually. Here we go. Oh my god. Uh, uh oh. No, not a second phase. Oh my god, what is this? This just turned into the crate boss fight for Metroid. That's why it was terrifying. I, I, I thought that was going to be my first death, I'm going to be honest. You ever heard this is Halloween in Major? That's what this song is. Keep going. Timer's still running. <laughs> oh my god, there's still more. Holy frick. The boss fight wasn't enough. Still have more to go. <sighs> this should be it, though. Oh, welcome back, Jack. Give me the mushroom and I can make the elixir. S -s Stop! That's too close! Then what should I do? Just throw it far, far away! What? Yow! Oh. Did it work? Phew. Are you alright? Here's your Pumpkin King boost. Drink this and you'll become the powerful Pumpkin King. Okay, then. Spicy bottle. Press the B button to drink it. 
That reminds me, I saw a lock, shock, and barrel on Spiral Hill. Well then, it seems I'm off to the graveyard. Kick a cough. Okay. I only have two of it. What does it do? What the frick? Oh. Turns me into a f Oh, that's what the fire is. Okay. That's what the fire blocks are. I turn into fire, literally. And lets me break them. Okay, so where were those fire blocks? I don't know if it's invincibility, but it will let me get through those fire blocks. That's all I care about. Can't get through there. And now what do I do? Oops, I didn't mean to use that. Hopefully I can find more of that. Yeah, there it is. So it's like a little sword drop, it looks like. Yeah, so it'll let me do this. Oh, now I'm back to this again. new? It is new, okay. Can I get up there? I don't probably didn't have the speed for it. No, go, 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 okay. There's more fire earlier. I think I am invincible, yeah. I have this, potentially. It doesn't last very long, though. chair. So now where do I go? She mentioned, what did she mention? Graveyard? I guess I'd, I could also explore. I already went up there. seen one of those shrunken heads in a while.
lot to explore here, it looks like now. I've been here in a while. I might be able to get up there though. Oh wow, nice slip there. Oh my, really? I hit the jump button. Platforming is deteriorating. Oh! Okay. the point of that? Oh. Another secret. Should do check on these. Found six secrets so far. Looks like. And some extras. Only four shrunken heads out of ten. No, stop! chair anywhere around here. Yeah, to the right here. Somehow I still have not died. <laughs> okay, so that was not the right way. It looks like I can go to the right. Actually, yeah, this looks like pretty logical, actually, going to the right here. There's the firewall that I was talking about. Oh, I don't have any of it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Good game design there. They have the power up right next to you, basically, right next to where you need it. There we go. 
Oh, hello. What did that do? Hello. Jack, bad news. Lock, shock, and barrel are breaking the streetlights. The whole town is going dark. No one can see anything. Luckily, I had a bat lamp with me. Here, you take it, Jack. We need you to stop those half pint hooligans. They almost like be hiding in the darkness, so be careful. When you see them, give them a blast to your frog gun and put their lights out. Good luck, Jack. We're just gonna gas some kids. I can see just fine. Thought those were deadly. Spikes and vulnerability would be nice. Oh, you know what? I might be able to get over the spikes with the uh, Pumpkin King thing. That might be why I'm getting so much of it. Go. Come on. Thank you. 
how I see them. Okay, not invincible with this thing. be something else I have to get to reach that. I still think there might be some kind of wall jump or high jump that I have to get at some point.
I didn't want to do that. Where else would they be, though? I feel like I've hit them three times here, or three or four times, maybe. Understand what I have to do. It wasn't that, that's for sure. That's what I was thinking. I wonder if that Pumpkin King form is actually a thing in the movie. Very true. Oh frick, I'm almost dead. That's my health. Can I kill these things? What the heck? Pumpkin King thing for this. Dead. How am I not dead? 
My streak! Rip. I finally died. Three hours in. I think we had to save, like, right away, basically. Shouldn't lose too much progress here. I do need to get this again, though. Oh my god, it saves your health, too. That sucks. This hasn't been a particularly hard game so far. I'm moving pretty quickly. Enjoying the vibe. <laughs> Here we go, that's all I had to do. Platforming is really fun. I could use more puzzles. If I'm being honest. A lot of this game is really platforming. How sneaky it looks when you're crouching. There you go. That was much easier than the, the last room. It's the hill! I found the hill. The famous hill that everyone knows. Hiya, Jack. How's it going? You three, why are you trying to ruin Halloween? Well, um, you see, the boss asked us to. Boss? You dimwit, that's supposed to be a secret! Who is your boss? Who put you up to this? He's, um, uh, oh, here, this is for you, Jack. Uh, it's gonna explode, isn't it? Yeah, minigame two. Oh, never mind. Run! Move it. You're in the way. Okay, bye. <clears throat> yeah, quick, they're getting away. You can't just let Lock, Shock, and Barrel get away. Um, can you? I have to go back. Oh, and now the hill is down. Oh, now I can't get past them. 
I'm blocked in. What? We're trapped? This is terrible. You have to find another way out, Jack. I'm afraid I can't go with you. But take this. Good luck. I got another spicy pepper. It's like the famous image, right? It's kind of obligatory, to be honest, for a game like this. Haha, -ha, the lab. Found the exit. This is how we get uh, linked into everything else, I bet. It's really cool, the whole interconnected world they're building here. I keep thinking I can save in the menu for some reason. Hello. I'm gonna go save again, now that I have full health. <laughs> the freaking skeleton dance, man. There's another place down here that I could probably get to now. Yeah. To find the uh, goop for it. Which is, of course, on the other side of this. Okay. I'm not the only person who has not seen this movie. <laughs> I was worried that everybody in chat was gonna be like, oh my god, you haven't seen Nightmare Before Christmas? How dare you? You're you're a heathen. That's what I was saying, Double. Thank goodness it's you, Jack. I need you. Help me with something. I remember what voice I gave this guy. I just never use my Disney Plus. I never watch movies. I think I'm getting rid of it since I just never use it. My assistant Igor ran off, and now I'm locked out of my lab. Without the key, I can't get back to my lab. Can you please find Igor for me? Always Igor. No problem, Doc. I knew I could count on you, Jack, my boy. The security system inside has gone out of control. I have no idea what caused it. It just suddenly started malfunctioning. Take this, just to be on the safe side. Your ability? What's this? Your frog gun is powered up. Let's go. We'll be for continuous frog breath. Let's go. Ooh. <laughs> but that's piracy. I kind of like the other frog gun better. I've been corrupted by the challenge or the uh, collector's mindset. Yes, it is. 
That's why I buy most of the carts. I own 600 cartridges. <laughs> Yeah, after I played Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of the Black Pearl, I was like, piracy is not- is overrated. That game was so bad. Like, I'm never being a pirate because of this game. It always bugs me when people talk about in other discords, like, oh, just- just emulate. Like, it's totally ethical to emulate games that are way too expensive for you, but it's really not, so... It doesn't mean that... Just because a game's expensive doesn't mean that you have the right to, like, play it without paying for it. People are still gonna do it, obviously. I feel like it's mostly a younger crowd thing, though. I honestly don't feel the same way about movies, though. <laughs> Even though it's literally the same thing. This is really funny. <laughs> this game has saws, therefore it is actually- it's officially a metroidvania. Have you ever noticed that every single metroidvania has buzz saws? This game is no exception. <laughs> freaking Hollow Knight, Prince of Persia had freaking buzz saws. Is that coming for me? It is coming for me. I was standing there, I was like, wait, this thing is coming closer to me. <laughs> oh, good. Prince of Persia's Hands of Time is definitely Metroidvania. It's I don't I wouldn't call it a full Metroidvania, but it is very Metroidvania like. Not the OG, yeah. The GBA Prince of Persia was very Metroidvania like. Wasn't necessarily a Metroidvania, but it lo it looked like one, for sure. It looked the map looked like this basically, and it kind of played like one, but it was much more linear. me back to, but that kind of sucks. Yeah, that just sent me back a lot. Oh my god, why? Get off the freaking ladder. I don't even have the upgrade frog gun. Oh my god. That sucks. Where even am I? There's lost a ton of progress. 
because there was no save, and then it put me into a freaking enemy gauntlet. And I couldn't survive. Dude, frick you. Stop going inside of me. That's kind of annoying. I don't know if there was a save before that that I could have gotten to. No, it doesn't look like there was. That's really frustrating. The first bad game over I've had in this. I can skip the cutscene. I've not found one of the shrunken heads in a while. Freaking buzz saws, man. Always gotta be buzz saws somewhere. Oh my god, nice jump. Wow, that did a lot of damage. I wanted that. Stop falling! Here's where the enemy gauntlet was, I'm pretty sure. I chose him. Now we're done with the, the grindy games for now. There will be more. At some point. I can almost guarantee it. Actually, I can guarantee it. Yeah, this, this, this is better with the frog gun. 
That's why the continuous is good. It's for those guys. All that for a bonus item. I died for nothing. I really hope there's a save room at some point. Buzzsaw is a melty person. Melty skeleton. Really, what is up with Metro Manies and freaking Buzzsaws? I don't understand. Looks like the security system got the best of you. I need to shut it off and get you down. Let me guess, I'm gonna have to find three things and destroy them. Hey, there we go. Finally another shrunken head. Oh, good. Dual Soul won't be super grindy. Because World Champion Turn 2004 was, and I think it's a similar idea. Because it could be under 30 hours and still be grindy, you know. It is a Yu Gi Oh game after all. First one on GBA, in fact. I believe, anyway. How am I already down to three health? My third shrunken head. Nice jump, bro. Oh, there's a thing in here, that's why this is here. And now I have to get it, because I've seen it. I'm legally obligated to get the secret. No! Freaking heck I a save point please okay, let's see what is it what did it say 
Trophy award for ghastly Halloween scares. How many do I have now? Three... An eight out of twenty. Save room, please. Yay. Well done, Jack. I see you found Igor and helped him escape. There's an old door in the backyard. Give it a look see if you're curious. Who knows? You might find a clue. Not before I freaking save my game. I will walk back to the save room. thing. Right. The fact that I can have up to 10 health bars kind of makes me scared for what the final boss is going to be like. <laughs> That's not the way to the backyard. I've seen everything here. At least I think I have.
Oh, this is open now. Wonder if there's more I can explore here then. Awful. Just look what's happened to the vampire. Why is there blood in my refrigerator? I can't stand the sight of it. I'm a vegetarian, you know, blah blah blah. You're a vegetarian? What kind of joke is this? It seems he's lost his insanity. Any idea why, Mr. Mayor? Oh, now that you mention it, there was some strange smoke earlier. This creepy purple smoke that reminded me of my dear old mom's hair. That's it. The vampire must have gone crazy after breathing the smoke. Jack, find the source of this smoke so we can return to his insanity. Make sure the smoke doesn't get you, too. By the way, Jack, you should be more careful. I went by your house, and the doors were unlocked, so I closed them all. If you want to unlock any door, you just have to light a nearby lamp. Please, Jack, I think nothing of it. It was the least I could do for you. Oh, great. You're making my life more inconvenient, then. tracks. <laughs> like the lamps with bombs. And you're on time on that. Cool. I'm sure I bet that's an instant kill if it touches me. Let's not do that. Oh, no, just reverses my controls. Okay. And I can't go down ladders. This doesn't hurt you. in a certain order. I gotta hit the lamp and then I gotta get to the ghost. Where's the lamp even? Or I can get the ghost first. Yeah, I think I need to do the ghost first.
Oh my god, really? I have to wait it now, wait it out now. So I missed the jump. What? How? How did I miss? How does that hit me? A and B buttons are reversed too. Oh, what? I hit him with the thing. Might as well be in this game, you know. See, this is why I don't like how I'm just kidding. Oh my god, go away! Come over here, oh my gosh. transition and this is no stop and the reverse controls go away and just throws you off no stop Oh my god, there's a lamp somewhere too. Can I destroy these things? No, I can't. Where's the lamp? Basically, I just had to deal with this too. There's like no way to avoid it. Oh my god, it's right here. Fly in my face too.
go. No, the reverse controls killed me there. That's so annoying. Flies have been around. I keep taking out the trash, but they keep showing up. Control is the stupidest thing ever. Oh my god. You destroy based freaking catapults too. There we go. Please give me healing. <laughs> There's gonna be more freaking purple smoke. I was healing, but I didn't get it because the game is freaking killing me here. Oh my god, I'm like almost dead. Do you jump? We're hitting the A button. Thank you. Oh, that was really terrible. <laughs> God, there's a save point too. Probably a boss coming up. Yep, there it is. Okay, well, this is a good save point anyway. Oh, plenty of room to figure out. Oh, it's freaking Mothra. <laughs> These bosses are really impressive. <laughs> right, I can literally just hit the wings, I guess. Well, like I said, the story is apparently based on events that happened before the movie. I see if spamming pumpkins works. Wow, well, spamming pumping has actually worked. I think. Oh, never mind. Okay. I'm dying. Reverse controls, dude. Oh my god. Down is freaking up. Okay, so spamming pumpkin, not the best strap. This is a second phase of this fight. Is this even doing damage? Or oh, do I have to? I have to do the middle part. Okay, the thorax, or whatever.
I feel like I've seen this boss pattern before. How am I supposed to do this? I'm practically dead by the time I get to that point. Well, now I know where to hit it, at least. I think if I duck, I'd be fine. If I duck, I'm fine, okay. That'll help. Same deal here. Nope. Ducking is bad. Still. How'd that hit me? Oh my god. Please get out of the freaking liquid. do here I got the first phase down I feel like I need more pumpkins to be honest suddenly the game got hard it's so nice up to this point I think maybe I should save my pumpkins for the second phase just do the frog gun on the first phase Thank you. 
No. How do I do this? Oh, I can do this. Can I do it while ducking though? God, I hate these stupid reverse controls. I can't do it while ducking. Dude, please. No, please. Die! Oh my god! Why am I reversed again? Missing. <sighs> what? How did they hit me? Oh my god. I don't know how they hit me. I was ducking. There's literally no way they hit me. Stupid. How are you supposed to do this without taking damage? There's gotta be a way to do it without taking damage. It's not in second phase yet. Now it is. Taking damage. <sighs> 
Surely I gotta be close. Why are you so high up? No. Please. Thank you. Oh my god. I'm literally at one health. If I can go backwards, I am going backwards. <laughs> to save. That was a hard boss. Was that boss number five? Usually these games have like six areas or six uh, segments. So we could be looking at the final area soon. On the chair right before this, right? Save before I go back. Okay, through that one. That was tough. Got it though. What happened? I feel like I've been in a trance. What do you think of when I say the word blood? Well, lunch for starters. Phew, you're back to your old self. You're not making sense, Jack. Oh, you almost made me forget. Dr. Finkelstein asked me to give you this. What is that? Double jump? Your bat boomerang has been powered up. Oh, I see. Okay. A doc? Oh no, I completely forgot. He asked me to find Sally. If the three brats were involved, then you should try the treehouse. It's the withered old building on the outskirts of town. You can get there from the door on the very edge of the town square. A treehouse, huh? Thanks, I'll check it out. Aha! A nice range attack now. Oh wow, the freaking purple stuff is still happening though. Oh, now it comes back, okay. <laughs> I can go down here and probably have a faster way back. I don't know, to be honest.
I don't know, maybe the lab would have been faster. Explore pretty much the whole map at this point, besides this tree house, so... to the far end of town. Might be that door. Oh, I can throw through fences now, I see. Oogie's Lair, okay. Yeah, this looks like a final area. Oh my god, it's huge. <laughs> Switch operates that elevator. Pretty rusted over and won't budge at all. It would take a pretty big bomb blast to get it loose, hmm? I think I need a bigger bomb then. Probably. I can't see! I can't see! I can't see! I can't see a thing! Jack, is that you, Jack? Calm down, tell me what happened. The bugs were coming from everywhere, so I ran away. It's not no better here. There are bugs all over. I was so scared that my face fell off. It happens sometimes. Oh, my beautiful face. What could it have gone? Oh, is this the mayor? I'm sorry to hear it. Anyway, have you seen Sally? Jack, my face is gone. I can't see anything. Oh, sorry. What about before it fell off? I think I saw Sally somewhere, but I'm afraid I can't remember where. I might remember if I got my face back. I always think better of my face. Hmm. Well, I guess we gotta find his face, then.
Sind, ähm Oh, now we got spinning swords. Oh my gosh. Nice jump, bro. This is also a thing in Prince of Persia. Spinning swords. something. in the background I suppose so this is a very supernatural world though so <laughs> kind of makes sense weird things can happen stuck here? I 
can't use this. I can't get up. Is there something about this mechanic that I don't understand? There's literally no way I can reach that. There's no way I just got stuck, right? There must be some way to get up there. No. What do I do here? I'm just stuck down here. It looks like I might be able to reach. Hold on. Here we go. Okay, just have to do it when the sword's not there. God, this is a hard angle. Dude, what? What? Come on. No, it looks like I can reach. I just, it's a hard jump. like a weird up and right. There we go. That was hard. I want me to do it again here. So now it's left. We're going to make some hard jumps here. Three swords on a on a cycle here. Do so much again. Ugh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. I didn't know running into the beehive was gonna kill me. I didn't do it before. Where even am I? Oh my god. 
That's really annoying. I just lost so much progress again. There just weren't enough saves. It was doing fine with the saves towards the beginning, but now it's just not giving me saves at all, basically. I finished a huge section. Dude, I just do not want to do that. At least the ladders in this game are functional. A lot of games with ladders just are horrible and unfunctional. Non-functional. Thing, if I remember correctly. If it was like a bonus item, I don't care. Oh, I need that. And this should be the room where I have to make the hard jumps. do it now. Sort of. Dude, just get up there. Dude, why? Easy. See? And then I freaking do that. I guess you actually don't even need to do that jump. You just skip it. this fall the jank at some points. Can we please do the jump properly? Oh my god.
didn't mean to use that. Losing health, like, so much right now. There's a save, at least. the face. Uh, what am I supposed to do to get this? <clears throat> What am I doing? Wait, what's going on here? I think I had to kill the red one? I think I have to kill the red one? How do I kill it? Too many hits. Unless it's like stack unless it's stacking the damage. Understand, like what, what? What am I missing here? They're all dying instantly, except for the red one. There we go. On the clown's face. Sure hope this helps him remember about Sally. Yeah, I hope so. Save. It's the damage was stacking. It's kind of like a mini boss. I can recover my health here. Well, a little bit anyway. I got a 
to walk all the way back now. This might be a two-parter. I have to finish this tomorrow night. I do have time to stream tomorrow night. Let me just get the face back to the clown and see what happens after that. Good thing is tomorrow night's Halloween, so... That actually makes sense for me to finish it on Halloween. I think we're getting pretty close to the end. Maybe I can finish it in one stream after seeing Gilgo's time was like five hours, but getting kind of frustrated if I'm being honest. Dragging a bit. Get off of me. item that I don't need. This area is a bit large, so I think there's quite a bit left still. And the fact that I haven't found any more shrunken heads, I only have 5 out of 10, at least I think there might still be quite a bit more. smell into my face, and since it has my nose, it must be close. Thanks, Jack. You're a prince, or I mean king. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ah, that's more like it. There's nothing like having a face. To show you that I am not just another pretty tearaway face. Oh, nice. I got the bigger bombs now. Your pumpkin bomb has been powered up. So long, Jack. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about Sally. I think I saw her near a rundown building over there. I saw a lot of bugs coming from the building. A lot of bugs. Be careful. Dang. Oh, we're gonna save and stop for the day, I think. 
finish up tomorrow on Halloween, as is fitting. Which was kind of the plan anyway. And then from there, gonna be looking at uh, starting Yu-Gi-Oh again on uh, Tuesday. Hopefully, hopefully we'll finish this tomorrow. I, I think we will probably. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next part. All right, let's finish this game. So I think we're pretty close to the end, actually. Probably won't be too much longer. So we just got the mega bombs. We have eight of them. And now we can go to the left here. It's a pretty big area. We do generally progress pretty quickly, though. Why are you not dead? Hello? Got him. Oh boy. What is that? Huh? I didn't know there's a place like this in Halloween Town. I've never seen a place this creepy. How absolutely marvelous. Enough sightseeing. I've got to find Sally. I also need to find a way to return the broken elevator to normal. Are you coming, Zero? Of course he is. Save. Yeah, so depending on how long this takes, we'll start Yu-Gi-Oh tonight or not. Oh my god, this flickering effect is terrible. Oh my god, this still only does like one... At a time. Oh, frick. I feel like how the bat batarang eventually gets to a point where it goes through walls. Oh, what the frick. Flickering is terrible. Can we not have this flickering, maybe? <laughs> hey. Hey, Misty. Spooky, scary skeletons and something... words are hard. I don't know. Are you trick-or-treating right now? It, it'd be a good time to be trick-or-treating right now. <laughs> At least in your time zone. Where is this? What oh, college room's huge. Oh, I see. Hopefully you feel a little less lonely watching my stream. Uh, okay, where the hell am I going here? <laughs> oh, I can jump on this. Interesting. I had spikes, so I was like, this is automatically bad. Interesting, though. I'm running out of health. If you could all drop some health, that'd be great. That's not health. What is this stupid yellow waterfall effect? It's terrible.
Uh, actually, I do want to look at this. Okay, the areas seem really big, but you actually progress through them pretty quickly. So they're not as big as they might seem. That's just a spike ball. That's not a grabby thing. That's also just a spike ball. Stand on this? No. These are just spiky balls that are trying to hit me. No, stop. Push this one down. Aha! Interesting. Uh, it does appear, uh, occur on. Hold on. It does occur on the console, yeah. You mean the yellow flickering? Actually, I, sh I haven't seen the yellow flickering yet. Yeah. I think it, the the frame the FPS is a little faster on my on the console, just a little bit, but it's not too far off. I don't like this. I'm like almost dead. Can I just climb up here. You gotta make make me do jumps like this with this little health. Where I'm supposed to go? There's no other way to go. I don't want to hit the spikes. I have no health. At least I can find some health. <laughs> There's no enemies here. Oh, now I have to go back all the way. Those guys don't drop health. I'm missing something here. Or is this jump just really hard for no reason?
How do I do this without hitting the spikes? There's literally no way. I keep hitting the ceiling. There we go. No! What? He didn't grab the ledge! That is so dumb. Yeah, it's just like a rightward jump from a certain point. Now I have to walk all the way back there. Because there were no saves. I'm gonna be more careful now that I know I need my health. He is a swanger. He has that swang swag. I need to get up there anyway. Jack is just like a, a swaggin' dude, you know? He knows he's cool. He knows he's a boss. He knows he's the Pumpkin King. The fake Pumpkin King. Self-proclaimed, let's say.
Well, I have significantly more health now. That's good. room. This reminds me of like the, the holiday version of Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. Because that's when they make it all Jack Skellington and Nightmare Before Christmas-y. Starting in October. See if we can make it up there without killing myself this time. There we go. Not that hard, see? Pro platforming gaming. Oh my god. <laughs> Immediately falls. This bike didn't even hurt me. I can get up, not get hurt. It's epic. Okay. Easy. See? Hi. I thought for sure I was going to get hit there, but I guess not. not get hit by this like scrab the thing thank you oh my god okay can i get on a good cycle here though I should eventually line up in 50 years maybe It's not ever gonna work, is it? Just go this way. Oh my god. It's like a blind jump. Oh, it looked like it was gonna line up there. A oh, freaking heck. Oh, I can stand on these and get hurt? Yeah, I'm just gonna do the blind jump. It's probably easier. There we go. I'm on the wrong side, though. Uh, this isn't gonna work. It won't ever work, will it? Yeah, it's like... Oh, there we go. I had to use Jank, though. <sighs> Slowly rise. God, this freaking flickering looks so bad. <laughs> this is the worst one yet. I don't know what their plan was of this, but it did not work. Okay, bye.
Because I'm getting pretty close to a save, maybe? I hope. <laughs> Spikes lining the passageway. At least I'm not on the ceiling yet. Chair, good, good. Gonna save, nice. Uh, there's only a few more rooms. It's kind of looking like we'll do this, and then we'll probably have to go to the left to so that other big area, and think where the final battle is. Boss here. Oh. Well, 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 so you're Jack Skellington. Who's there? Show yourself. Who, you ask? You ask who I am? Let me tell you, you bag of bones. I was Oogie Boogie. I am Oogie Boogie, king of all bugs. And this is now my town. He doesn't even look like a bug. Bug King, so you're the one responsible for all this mess. I am, and I'm gonna turn your pathetic Halloween into Crawloween. I'm afraid I can't allow that. No, Jack, you're just about to find out what it means to be afraid. What? What the frick? Okay, how do we beat this guy? You got body segments, it looks like. Oh. Uh, Oogie Boogie, the ghost guy. Does a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm not sure why he's the king of all bugs, but cool, I guess. Skip the cutscene. Good game. I doubt this is the final boss. Oh my god. He does like three health. I dodge this attack. Oh, 
Oh, I just wait and just kind of shuffle under him, it looks like. He'll go over me. I think I'm doing damage. Ah, comes at you so fast. Well, now I know how to dodge the attack better. Hey, go, go, thank you. I think we're almost done with the game. Ah. Hard to dodge. Can we dodge that time. Games don't end until midnight. I'm going to bed before midnight. Sorry to say. We might move on to Yu-Gi-Oh! tonight, but I will be going to bed before midnight. <laughs> I already woke up at like 3 a.m. Uh, this morning, so kind of tired. I think I'm doing damage here. Not entirely sure. for the battering. Ah. No, jump! Oh my gosh. I feel like this is too easy to do this. I have a feeling the game is expecting me to do something else. I actually use my pumpkin bombs or something. Then why would these do damage? something. Oh. I mean, I got the powered up ones, supposedly, from the clown dude. I think I was supposed to use these the whole time. Ah. 
Either that or it didn't have damage and now the pumpkin bombs are just OP. There we go. Is that it? Oh, nope. So I got the space. Oh, jeez. There we go. Oh my god, that was really close. I think he could have killed him with one more hit. That didn't seem like a final boss. Surely we'll have to actually fight Oogie Boogie. Not bad, you're not bad at all, Pumpkin King. But remember, the dice are fickle and these ones are loaded. You got lucky this time, hee <laughs> hee. It's over, Oogie. Leave Halloween Town at once. Never. Boss, boss, over here, we fixed the elevator. Let's hurry back to the treehouse. Well done, I'll be waiting for you in the treehouse, Pumpkin Clown. It'll be you, me, and the ragdoll. Oh dear, ragdoll, that's Sally. Let's go, Zero, we got a very little time to save Halloween. Well, we're gonna go back and save the game first. <laughs> Actually, I should probably uh, heal as well. The heal is up here. This is true. Why can't they just float like the rest of us? <laughs> I still think the moth boss was actually was actually harder. Who needs an elevator when you have a flying snake? expect from a shortcut. The treehouse must be that last big area there. Just leave me with zero pumpkins for this. And nothing's dropping them. I think I need eight to get through here. Started this yesterday. It's a good game. I might even give it a 9 out of 10, to be honest. It's been that fun. 
course, these guys drop a ton of pumpkins. Potentially starting Yu-Gi-Oh! again tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm ready for Yu-Gi-Oh! again already. That shouldn't be as bad as the past several Yu-Gi-Oh! games have been. Wait, I want to go up. And there we go. Now it should go up. Aha! There's the treehouse. Yep, okay. This might be the final area. For this game. There are fireworks in here. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, Jack. All right, you three. Where did you take Sally? We can't say. The boss will whomp us if we do. Hello, NKPLSN. This game is not as expensive as some, but yes, it is on the medium, on the uh, mid-tier expensive side. I got this for about 25 bucks. Wasn't too bad. M may might have even been less. Right now, it's not your boss who you should be worried about. This is a good game, though. Run! Get back here. Get the kids. Yeah. I just got a random eBay order. I mean, so far I've been really enjoying it. Why is everything shooting fireworks at me? Where am I going here? Down looks like a secret room. Oh, it's health. I'm down for that. What is shooting fireworks at me? paid more for other GBA games. But it's fun to collect them, so I don't mind too much. As long as I do it in moderation, you know. It's not too bad. Okay, get back up. Or down. Let's go left. Now the battering upgrade is so good. Oh, the ghost. Thank you. 
No! It slipped off. No, I knew the spikes were there, I just slipped. Healing, good. Still got like a little ways to go. I don't know if the boss fight takes place in multiple rooms or. Oh. Jack! Whose bright idea was it to come this way? We'll be caught for sure! Don't worry, this room is equipped with all sorts of unpleasant surprises. What's this about surprises? Nothing, Jack. We don't have anything that would hurt you. Hey, <laughs> hey. Okay, bye. Something this way. They're up to something. I wonder where the traps are. What's this about? Oh, what in the world is this? Oh. That is a full health bar. Oh my gosh. What the frick is this? Oh my god. I think there's so much damage. Oh, and then this thing is gonna happen, okay. Oh, and this, okay. Freaking heck, stop! Stop! Why? Oh my god, now I have to deal with this. All right, give it up and tell me where Sally is. Don't hurt us, Jack, she's with Oogie. We told you, so forgive us, right? Here, you can take this too. Oh, is that power up? Yeah, mini game through, oh, no. Quick, let's escape. Through the ducks and back to Oogie's lair. Oh, that's why that's there, okay. Cough, cough, those miscreants. I should have known better. I'll bet Oogie's lair is on the other end of the ducks. The entrance should be somewhere around here. Let's go, Zero. I bet that's what that room was. Since they went that way, you know. Yeah, I got your baby with a mini game instead of a freaking power up. I'm actually surprised I got through that first try. Oh, I bet we get another uh, shrunken head here. This is probably a Zero thing. Probably the last Zero mission. Seems likely. Yep, yep. Okay, we gotta find the shrunken head here. It's probably one here anyway. Just gotta pay attention. There it is. Got him. And we're in there. Nice. So there's still four more shrunken heads elsewhere. 
Or are we? Aha, uh -huh. this is like a final boss area, perhaps? Let's see. There's not much else, nowhere much else to go, so. Welcome, Jack. How nice of you to drop by. Hello. Oogie Boogie, turn this town back to normal at once. How dare you talk that way to the king of Halloween Town? I mean, Bug Town. You, the king of Halloween Town? Don't make me laugh. Oh, I am the king, and this is your last laugh. Oh. Oh, I just, just okay. What's going on? I have no idea what's happening. Okay, I can't hit him while he's in this state, it looks like. Oh, he's moonwalking, okay. So I guess he just rolls like something random and then that's the attack he does. And he's vulnerable while he's preparing the attack. Looks like. Only while he's preparing the attack. Jump over him. Hey, Suzuka. Yeah, I finished Sudoku like three days ago <laughs> at this point. That's crazy to think about. It's actually been that long. Two days ago, I think it was. No, what? I thought he was vulnerable. Wasn't vulnerable yet. Well, he, he can reach you, though. Yeah, well, now we know that we can only hit him while he's preparing an attack, so... I don't think I can skip this cutscene. Never mind. First attempt is always to learn how the boss works.
Yeah, on this side, perhaps. Three is the buzz saws, okay. You can't jump over him. It seems, anyway. It's a very strange boss fight. Dude, oh my god. Completely missed him. Sort of aim the pumpkin bombs. You can't dodge that. What the heck? literally can't dodge him. Oh, that's interesting. The frog gun, you can hold it. And, uh, it'll keep hitting him as he's moving towards you. Probably the best option here, actually. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, it's still going. Where is he? Uh, I don't think there is. I think maybe on Game Boy Color, there is one. Not really sure. The boss fight in Kingdom Hearts was kind of like this too, just kind of random. I know there is a game for the mask, I just don't know what console it's on. I, I've been be, I'd be inclined to say Game Boy, color a Game Boy. Oh, I actually dodged him that time. Dang it. There we go. How do I always end with zero shrunken heads left at the end of all these fights? Beepie doo beepie boogie. Is that all you have to do? Boss fight wasn't particularly hard. The moth boss fight still takes the cake. That fight was hard. <laughs> Looks like the dice rolled my way this time. Give it up, Oogie. Never. Me? Give up? Never in a million years, pumpkin puss. I have one card left to play, and this Joker is wild. Oh boy. No. It was just our boss. Oogie, get back here. King of Halloween Town. You gotta be kidding me. I'm the pumpkin king of Halloween. Okay, can I go heal? Of course, there's a second phase here. 
Oh, there's still another room, of course. The moth is like the fourth boss. As much fun as our little games are, Jack, this will be your last. Tomorrow the town will be reborn as Bugdown, and I shall be its king. I won't let that happen. This is Halloween Town, and I am the Pumpkin King. Prepare to be dethroned, Jack. Raise two. Oh my goodness. Ha ha ha, are you surprised, Pumpkin King? When Oogie rules, this town will be ours to play with. We are. Luck. Shock. Barrel. So, Jack, let's find out once and for all who the real king is. There we go. And I have no pumpkins, of course. I have to kill the this thing first. I don't know. I'm just, I'm seeing how the boss is. It's like I said before. Oh, ho, ho, what's this? Oh, he just tore a hole in the ground, okay. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm supposed to dodge all these attacks. I can't hit these guys. Ah, I don't know what I'm doing here. At a certain point, you just stay in the air and I can't damage them. like to not take so much damage. I don't feel like I have much of a choice though, because it's so big. I also have no pumpkin bombs. I 
I think I can't seem to hit the uh, the kids. It just doesn't have a hitbox too, which baffles me. What am I supposed to do? Like, I can't hit it. I'm, I'm trying to do damage and it's not working. Use the bats to disable and then going with the frog gun to hit Oogie. No, frick. I can't do enough damage in time with the bats though. How did that hit me? What? What? How did that? Why am I not doing damage? I'm confused. damage fast enough. What the heck, dude? So... Frick. I mean, I think that's the case. I'm just not doing a very good job surviving. Hit. 
How? How is he not yielding yet? This boss is confusing. What in the world is this? Oh, it sort of puts a target on me, I guess. I see. time though sucks you have to take damage every time you want to attack him This guy's easy to dodge, at least. Oh my god. Easy to get rid of the fireworks anyway. Oh no, he's doing this again. I think we got to this phase before. That makes things a little more challenging, doesn't it? I don't have the option of using that side of the arena, as it's all spikes. I might want to just use the bats and just dodge all the time. I'm a little laggy here. Hate my jump. close. <laughs> right, pumpkin, man. This might be going a little faster. What? How come you get to attack again? Lag eating my jumps, man. Oh, what? What? How is this not working? Why, why am I not able to hit him now? Thank you. 
Oh my god, really? Why can't I hit him now? What the heck? I'm confused. It's literally, he, like, the hitbox is missing or something. I don't know why it's not hitting him when he comes down. Oh, maybe it was I'm getting hit. No. Oh my gosh. Stop. Oh my god, and then he's just able to come and get me. Oh my god, please. for Good lord, the lag in this fight is ridiculous. Dude, I'm like almost dead. No! Oh my god! What am I supposed to do? Why? I have to redo the whole fight now. It's so annoying. If you don't get on the freaking platform, please stop hitting me. I can't afford this damage this early. My God, dude, why? Oh my God, I cannot jump either. Save my life. Oh my god. It's impossible to jump over. No. No, why are you not landing on the platform? Oh my god, this is impossible. I cannot get hit. I feel like maybe I should stop attacking at a certain point so I can actually jump if I need to. See, like, there's a delay between I can jump after throwing the bats. And 
And I can't get over him, though. I feel like this would be a lot easier if I had the pumpkin bombs. First time I have had like zero pumpkin bombs for a boss. He's not letting me attack him. Why did they hit me? same attack over and over again and I can't do anything about it hitting me phases. How? Oh, I can hit him in the air. I forgot about that. I'm dead, though. Yeah, literally nothing I could do about that. Maybe that's the key. I'm just gonna aim up. Am I like anywhere near? No, I'd have to go like all the way back if I wanted pumpkin bombs. It's not worth it. Surely I can do this just the bat boomerang or whatever. Such a long boss fight, too. Oh. 
No, why did you not land on that thing? Okay, still can't hit it with this. Pretty good amount of damage there. Why? Seems like that if I land on the ground after he finishes this attack. He just does it again. Which is very strange. So I want to stay on the platform. Or he just does it again anyway. Like, what? what is this? Is this supposed to be some kind of pattern? Are you still doing this freaking attack? I hate this attack. Makes him invulnerable. I guess that's just part of the pattern. Okay, already here with four health bars, that's pretty good. Ah! Immediately loses one. again three times probably Thank you. 
Okay, yeah, this is just like you're waiting it out, basically. Until he decides to be vulnerable again, which is really stupid, I'm gonna be honest. This final boss kind of sucks. Kind of poorly designed, IMO. I feel like I'm getting kind of close. No, how do you, how am I supposed to avoid that? Please just die already. Why does this guy have so much health? Oh my god. I'm barely on even the third phase. Holy frick. God, this fight is so long. Why is this fight so freaking long? I'm understanding better like how to dodge the attacks at least. It's just kind of hard when like you have so much freaking lag after throwing the bat boomerangs. And you can't get close enough to do the frog thing or you just get hit. There's no, no way to avoid that. And like this attack, like if you're not up on the platform, you're just gonna get hit. There's no way around it. And this attack is super annoying because you can't do anything while he's doing it. I'm already down three health. Like, what am I supposed to do? That attack is completely random. I feel like if I had pumpkin bombs, it would be way this would be way easier.
There's the other kid. No, why? Like, it's, see, there's a lag when you jump with the bat boomerang. I might go back and get pumpkin bombs. This is really annoying without them, I think. Fill up to be honest. That still hit me. I don't know how that hit me. Of course, that doesn't work because they're gonna go right back in this freaking attack. <laughs> I really can't tell if it's random or if it's on a pattern. Mostly dead. Right now I'm stuck over here with that thing coming towards me. <sighs> I'm like pretty much dead. Why? Where were those? Oh my god. I'm just gonna go back and get pumpkin bombs. This is really annoying without them. They're the strongest attack. Like, I just need to get them. I have zero right now. It's really stupid. I'm not getting anywhere with this. I have to do this backwards.
I don't even know where I'm supposed to get more, to be honest. Have a feeling the pumpkin bombs are gonna be really OP here. These guys drop them. healing pretty much so Now they're not consistently dropping them. Hmm, maybe the drops aren't consistent. I will grind this out. The game thinks I won't, but I will. And the bats really don't do much damage at all. That's why it takes so long to get to the second phase. It's a nice risk reward, I guess. You do less damage for a safer fight. Which means maybe I should look for more shrunken heads. Found ones in the 
in the zero stages. Look like there's a secret room somewhere in here. To the left. Perhaps there would be a shrunken head in there. But so close to a zero level. It'd be interesting. what the limit is on this, but it seems pretty high. So I will max this out. The game lets me. it every time. These guys drop it randomly. Not about to come back here needing more. Probably maxes at 99, to be honest. Oh, now that time he didn't drop it. Okay. done the fight with pumpkin bombs yet so it'll be interesting to try it so let me go higher
Dude, why is it when I get hit, I get turned around the other direction? Okay, this is probably enough. Seventy-five. Surely that'll be enough to kill him. So may I land all the hits anyway. Oh, yeah, I was gonna look for that uh, hidden room. Let's see what's in it. It's like right down here. Underneath? It looks like something's underneath. I may not be able to reach it from this side. Oh, well, extra pumpkin bombs. I'm not turning back. Hopefully this will be good enough to win. Just in case I happen to die in the zero level. I thought as I, I go back to the, using the bats to stun the bug thing. And then I use the pumpkin bombs to hit Oogie Boogie. Which might be why the platforms are there, so you can get higher up, so you can actually land the pumpkin bombs on him. I could put the healing after the save. Like you're not gonna go heal before you save. So we're saving our 78 pumpkin bombs? Yeah. Surely that'll be enough if I land enough of them. If not, then I have no idea what I'm gonna do about this boss. I wanted to jump on the platform there, but for some reason it didn't land it. Dang it! A waste of a pumpkin bomb. to adjust for the pumpkin bonds. I can't really tell when he's down. Or I can't really tell anyway. What the hell? Did I hit you didn't even hit him there? I don't even know if I hit him there. How did that hit me? Or 
part of the problem is I keep hitting the wrong button to get the pumpkin bombs. They're on the left. I'm already on the, fa the second phase, but I've already taken so much damage. I don't know how much that actually matters. Okay, the pumpkin bombs are definitely the strat. <laughs> now it's a little harder to get close to them though. like when the third phase starts Come 
come on. Just die already, oh my god. What is happening? How many phases does this fight have? Holy frick. Oh my god. What in the world, dude? Okay, well the pumpkin bomb seemed to be, again, really overpowered, so... That's the strat. Screw everything else. I definitely should've gotten more. <laughs> should max the counter. To be honest. This final boss is really hard. For no reason. Most of it's just because it's a long. Just a long final boss. this freaking attack and I got hit by it for no reason and the hard part isn't even like dodging it's just enduring the fight It's just like, with the moving platforms and the lag from the bat boomerangs, it's just terrible. Dude, just die! Oh my god, why am I up here? Enter the second phase already. There are two health bars just to get up the second phase. It's not good enough. Possible jump over him. <laughs> and I keep getting hit. I'm already down to two health bars. 
Wish I knew where the other shrunken heads were. That'd be nice. Two health parts to get the third phase. Oh my god, and of course. Dude. Where am I? Please, game! Why? Why am oh my god? I can't. Oh my god. This is so bad. This boss is stupid, dude. What? How am I supposed to do this? Four phases in this freaking fight. Oh my god, I can't even like tell. If you're too far off camera, like you can't see if he's vulnerable or not. I feel like I just need to count like how many bats it takes to actually hit him, but then I don't even know how many bats are actually hitting him. Stop getting hit. Takes like six or seven. Why can I not get in the platform? The jank is making this so much harder. Okay. Slightly better than last time. Very slightly. Get over him. <sighs> that was too close.
hate this attack. It's so slow. I really can't tell, like, if this is a pattern or not. I think it is a pattern. Where he does this three times. Dude, I hate the random bouncy balls. They're so annoying! Only thing in this fight you can't predict. Okay, third phase. this work, I think. God, really? Lost so much health. No, oh, I hate this attack. Stupid freaking thing in its mouth is shooting these stupid bouncy balls. They're so annoying and random. Get enough good hits on him. Oh, is he already doing this? Might be close. If that's the case. pumpkins too. Please. Please don't kill me now. Oh my god, really? I only have four health left. There's no healing in this fight too, I imagine. that time with the bouncy balls. <laughs> 
Oh, oh my god, I'm so freaking close! He just refuses to die, dude. How many pumpkin bombs do you need to kill this guy? I'm so freaking close. It just gets so hard in the last phase, all the freaking spikes everywhere. I find some way to preserve my health. I'm getting better at dodging in the earlier phases, but I still need to get better. Because the dodging is really hard. Especially when you're using the bat boomerang as your primary weapon. Gotta learn to not be super greedy with my attacks, too. I just always have to worry about the freaking bouncy balls as well. Frick you. Dude, I jumped! Please register my freaking jump input. Dude, where are you throwing those things? Literally pressing the other direction. He's literally throwing them the wrong direction. So mad, dude. Oh my god, now I just get hit by that. A really bad attempt. That's the key, is I say it's a really bad attempt and then the game has mercy on me. Seriously? Dude, please! Why? Why are you aiming at the wrong thing? Oh my god, I hate this. <laughs> Why am I getting hit here? I haven't even gotten another freaking first phase. This is so bad. Why is this boss so hard? Possible to dodge too. Am I still not in the second phase? Oh my god. I lost so much health there. Nothing I can do about it. Thank you. 
God, the bouncy balls are so annoying. I'm honestly tempted to go back and look for more shrunken heads, because I feel like that's the only way I'm gonna beat this. Dude, I can't do more than two hits. I do that. Oh my god, I forgot that he drops there and does two damage. Nothing I can do about this. Why am I still getting hit? Oh my... Mm. I'm so jank. Oh my god, I'm never gonna beat this. Just kill me. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, I, I can't figure out how to dodge consistently. He's too big. I guess I just be less greedy? I don't know. This is getting really frustrating. Like, I know the bat thing is the weakest weapon, but it's also the only one that's long range. Enough to actually hit him without getting hit. attack again I don't understand I haven't even done one hit to him oh my god I hate this fight this fight is so unfair it's so freaking long too Nice aim, bro. Dude, and I can't jump on the platform to escape!
Dude, stop hitting the thing! Why is so stupid? The hitbox is garbage. God, you just end up in the wrong spot and the freaking platform ruins you. Can you please just go to the second phase already? Oh my god, I keep forgetting this is gonna happen every single time. Oh. You can tell how pissed off I am right now. I'm sorry. I'm bad at video games. I hate this freaking boss. Why is this boss so hard? This is like way harder than the rest of the game. for like no reason. And like, it does, it's undodgeable attacks. Especially, since you can't land on these freaking platforms! I chose him. Oogie sucks. This boss is a huge difficulty spike. For no reason at all. Can you just die? Dude... Ugh. Can I please stop getting hit? God, I have no health! I have zero freaking health bars! Why? I'm not even on the last phase yet! What do you even think is the last phase? It might not even be the last phase. This fight is so freaking long. I've been on this boss for like an hour and a half with today's playthrough. What do I sp what am I supposed to do? Like I can't dodge. <sighs> what is this boss, dude? I can't dodge his attacks. This game was fun until I got here. Now it's just 
freaking stupid. Why is this boss so hard? Don't get hit. God, can't be right under him. I don't know how I didn't take damage there. Oh my god, I suck at this game. Get up, get up, get up, get up! Get on the freaking platform! I'm down so much health now for no reason. This RNG. Somehow, like, I'm getting really lucky, and he's not doing the one thing that is going to kill me. Why is he doing his attack over and over again? Why didn't he do this before? I think I might have manip manipped him or something. What was that? He just, he just did not do the one attack that was screwing me over. What? He kept doing the witch attack. Or the one where he's like trying to shoot fireworks at me. Why did he do that? What's, what was that about? That boss was weird. Oh my god. At least it's over. What was that? <laughs> he just stopped doing the attack that was screwing me over. Maybe it's like I'm a nip or something. Like you stay on the platforms for long enough. Like he just keeps doing that attack. And that attack makes it way easier to win. This is impossible. I am the king of all bugs. I cannot be defeated. Oogie, it's over. Halloween Town belongs to us. This is our home. How dare you come in here on this of all days and try to ruin our holiday. 
I was so close. Me and my precious bugs could have ruled this town. Why can't we all be friends? The only thing you'll ever rule is this room. And if I ever hear you leave it, game over. Thank you for rescuing me, Mr. Pumpkin King. Please, call me Jack. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sally. It's very nice to meet you, Sally. It's always nice to make a new friend. Friend? <laughs> Jack, please, there's no time to waste. We've got to start Halloween. I'm so confused as to why that boss just suddenly decided to do the one attack that I could kill him with. <laughs> Sally! Sally, my girl, you're safe. I was so worried about you. Sally? Ahem, Sally! Woman, are you even listening to me? Listen up, everyone. Let's scare up some fun. Happy Halloween! Oh, what a fitting end for a game on Halloween. <laughs> so I picked it. So, our story ends here, as all is now well. No crawlies to be found, no stink bugs to smell. No more pinchers to bite, and no more vermin to sting. Thanks to all to our friend Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King. Yay. You've won this battle, you bag of bones, but I'm not finished yet. I'll bide my time. Soon enough I'll be back, and when I am it will be a nightmare. There we go. God, that was a really, really good game until that final boss. <laughs> like, uh, all the jank, I didn't mind any of the jank all the way up to that final boss, and then suddenly the final boss just killed it. And knocked it from a 9 to an 8.5. This is a still a really good game. I'd play this again in a heartbeat. This is really, really fun. But there's still a lot of jank. Obviously, the final boss is extremely hard. Unless you apparently manip him to just use his aerial attack the entire time. Or the fireworks attack. Which is the easiest attack to, like, kill him with, apparently. Or to kill him again. To beat, beat him again. How, what am I trying to say? Easiest attack to dodge. And therefore, the best attack to get in order to kill him. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Good game. Good Halloween game. That final boss probably should not have taken me an hour and a half, but... Whatever. <laughs> Glad I got to play this one. Man, what a frustrating boss, though. <laughs> I really wonder what I did to manip him into using the firework attack every time. He didn't even use the, the other attack once, it seemed. Once I got through the first few phases. But yeah, the pumpkin bombs are the strat. I'm really glad I went back and got those. Otherwise that fight would have been a nightmare. Actually though, it was still a nightmare with them. It's still a normal difficulty game, I would say, overall. Overall, it was actually pretty easy. Some some hard platforming here and there, but and some hard bosses. Pretty normal otherwise. But yeah, next game up, Yu-Gi-Oh: The Eternal Duel of Soul, which obviously, if you've seen my other Yu-Gi-Oh videos, you know I'm not looking forward to. Not at all. <laughs> Uh, it's sitting right here on my desk. I think I'm gonna start it tonight. Just get it started, like, maybe an hour. Just to see what we're getting ourselves into. Maybe I won't start it. Maybe I'll just look at it on stream. The end. But anyway. That was The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Pumpkin King. Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Pumpkin King. That's the official branded name, but easier to call it just The Nightmare Before Christmas. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this playthrough, please like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.